Two allegations tonight against the couple charged with abusing kids at Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in Humansville. That reform school is now closed, but another student has come forward saying she suffered physical and mental abuse at the hands of the school's leaders. Color 10's Parker Page is live outside the federal courthouse where that lawsuit was filed. Yeah, that suit was filed by an 18 year old woman who was a student at that school five years ago. She says she's had her face shoved in animal manure and witnessed other students forced to eat their own vomit. It's hard to know what to say. This lawsuit, uh, I would caution you, it, it's pretty alarming, it's pretty upsetting. Members of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, advocating for victims abused at the Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in Humansville. A new lawsuit includes disturbing allegations against school leaders Boyd and Stephanie Householder, as well as Jeffrey Abels, who's listed as a former director of the ranch. She was uh, force-fed, made to eat her own vomit, beaten with leather straps, ogled when she was in the shower naked. David Clossy with SNAP says Abel's is now a pastor in the Springfield area. You ask about proof, I mean, uh, we're very confident uh, that those allegations are absolutely going to be proven in, in depositions and discovery and hopefully trial. Uh, and we think he should resign uh, or be, be fired because of his role. Other speakers at the news conference talked about the importance of working with survivors to ensure they get justice. What is important that the accusations are investigated and um, if found guilty, tried with the full extent of the law and justice, justice for the accused and for the accuser. What every survivor needs is that person who says, absolutely, I believe you. And what can I do to help or to be with you? and to support. Clossy says they hope the new lawsuit brings closure to the victim. We also hope that it will inspire others who were abused or are being abused at these largely unregulated facilities to come forward and get some help. We reached out to Abel's but did not get a response back. Stephanie Householder is expected to stand trial in November on criminal abuse charges. Her husband Boyd was also charged, but he died before his trial. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Color 10 News.